So Tennessee has a new men's basketball coach, just like I have a new pair of glasses. These are my nerdy glasses. Okay, technically I don't have a new pair of glasses. These are just 3D glasses with the lenses popped out. But anyway, Tennessee does have a new coach. Rick Barnes, after spending 17 years at UT, Rick Barnes is coming to UT. Huh? I think you all know what I'm talking about. So let's discuss Rick Barnes as ACP Carter and I did so last night. Uh, I am excited to have a, what I feel is a big name coach coming to Coach Tennessee. Something we haven't had in a while. You can say what you want about Bruce Pearl, but he was not a big name when we hired him. <sighs> My concerns, if if any, about this hire are the fact that it's almost like a rebound hire. Um, in the sense that, you know, when your girlfriend dumps you... And you take the first thing that comes along afterwards. That's kind of what I feel like Rick Barnes might be doing. I could be wrong. You know, maybe he genuinely, sincerely is excited to be coming to Tennessee. I know I would as a new coach. But hey, you know, different story, different video. So he has been quoted as saying clearly that he did not want to leave Texas. Um, that it pained him deeply. It was a very emotional thing. But it was something that, based on his own, I don't know if morals is the right word, but based on the fact that he went to bat for his assistants and was going to remain loyal to his assistants. He lost his job over it. I admire that. That shows loyalty. I think a lot of this firing had to do with Texas's athletic director who is somewhat New, I think he's in year two or three, I can't remember, but he's only been there a couple of years, I'm pretty sure. And he was responsible for the shit canning of Mac Brown and now the shit canning of Rick Barnes. So if you're a Texas coach and you've been there for a long time, keep your head on a swivel. As far as what I think he can do at Tennessee. It's going to be a tough job, Rick. You know, it's not like you're going to see this video, but if you should happen to stumble across it in your travels, I wish you the best of luck. Because, let's be honest, our fans can be some real dickheads when it comes to basketball. Ask Conzo Martin. Uh... Hopefully you will be welcomed and treated as you deserve to be. God love you, man. If you if you know if you aren't successful quick, there'll be petitions. And I you know I hate to talk shit about my own fan base, but our recent track record when it comes to basketball is not good. But maybe this will be you know. Maybe this would be the, the marriage that we both need. Tennessee fans and Rick Barnes. I hope... I know he ain't going to be here too awfully long. The man's 60 years old. But at least he's not 102 or however old Rick Bird is from Belmont. or Whatever his first name is that Tennessee was considering hiring last time around. Just curious how much that search firm helped you, Dave. You know, Dave's catching a lot of heat for Donnie Tindall and 
Carter and I talked about this last night too. We both agree that we don't necessarily think it's justified. No athletic director is perfect. I put any of Tennessee's recent troubles and failures with coaches. Uh, I'm kind of putting that on cheek. I don't think he gets enough blame. And maybe rightfully so, I don't know. Somebody has to bear the blame when stuff like this happens. And anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Welcome, Rick Barnes. I am one fan that welcomes you and can't wait to see what you do um, with this uphill battle ahead of you, at least for the first year. you got some good, good players to work with down there, so let's see what you can do. Go Vols. And at least this time we're not going to have to hear Rick say, Go Vowels. I want to be a vowel. Well, I want to be a consonant. Fucking vowels.